Hello people and today welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial and as you may notice why am I in uh, in this mobile set and it, that's why I'm going to show you how to use screen orientation so it looks like this there we go that's how you use screen orientation now screen orientation is very useful uh, and it's only used for mobile players if you want to make like a portrait size like the game Lua Learning like Lua Learning has a portrait size that's what will be very useful and yeah I'm gonna show you how to make uh, use screen orientation. I'm gonna explain how do you, how does this actually work. And yeah, enjoy. So first off, what you're gonna do is find a place that is very cool and very good. And let's go ahead and go to the start to GUI and let's go ahead and insert a local script. Now let's go ahead and make variables. And we're gonna say this, we're gonna say local player equals game dot player dot local player. Then let's go ahead and get the player GUI. We're gonna say local player. GUI equals player clon wait for child and then we can say player GUI and then let's go ahead and add a wait function and then we can say player GUI dot screen orientation and then we're gonna say equal enum dot screen orientation and then we can say the type of this so I'm gonna explain through all of it of course and I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna pick the port. And then once we're done, we're going ahead and go to the test. And let's go ahead and publish it to Roblox. So as you can see, I'm in here. And as you can see, it forcibly opens me to portrait size. So as you can see, if it, we wait for two seconds and we got our own portrait scale. So I'm gonna show you through all of the, the landscapes and portrait sizing. I'll tell you why. So, uh, I have made uh, this GUI right here, so this will tell, this will, I have to pick any of the landscape or screen orientation what I like. Uh, I can click anything, you can see, uh, landscape right, I can change whatever I want. So uh, I will tell you what these are. So landscape left is definitely like this, if it's like face to the left. I believe it detects where the home button is, so I think this is where it goes to the left. The right is just goes to the right, right here. And landscape sensor is definitely uh, detecting the la the sensor if you're on a landscape. So if I look like this, it should load up for a second. There we go. It changes without the portrait. It only goes to the landscape. And the portrait is very easy. It's just facing to the port portrait right here. I know the sizing is very different, but it kind of like affects like the whole GUI. But that doesn't matter. And if I pick sensor, it will sensor the the whole all things like this landscape and the portrait so yeah that's how you use a uh, screen orientation oh yeah by the way if you want to know how i made this uh i'm gonna go right here uh this is the whole coding right here so this is the gui i guess this is the thing here's the thing all right and yeah here is the whole gui and here is the whole thing actually so yeah that is all for today's video so if you like it please make if you like the video otherwise subscribe to my channel for more roblox studio content and anyways i want to see you in the freaking next video peace out